So humans have like, there's 23,000 proteins that are each, you can think of a protein as like a little worker inside of your cells that does a job. So Mm -hmm. to make you who you are, to have blue eyes, to have the color hair that you have, all of that, there's about 23,000 proteins that it takes for you to function. The rabies virus has five proteins, just five. And this thing is microscopic, tinier than your cells with only five proteins, and it will kill you nearly 100% of the time that you get it if you don't treat it. And it just blows my mind. That's the first cool thing about it. And then all of the, the symptoms and side effects of how it works, rabies is thought to be um, the disease is probably what stemmed uh, werewolves, uh, the, like the idea behind werewolves, right? So you get rip, bit by a rabid dog. And then one form of rabies is that once it gets to your brain and causes all this swelling, it kind of represses your frontal cortex that allows you to act like a normal human. And you kind of become a little bit more animalistic. And like, you also become very delusional and crazy. So you like lash out and then the virus goes into your salivary glands, which makes you like start Foam. foaming. It also, it also uh, since it's replicating in there, it swells your throat up. So your throat hurts really bad. So you don't want to swallow, which is why if you've ever heard like some people with rabies that are afraid of water, it's not because the water's scary, although that's a fun like mythology thing. It's actually because it's just looking at water when you're really parched, you, you like just seeing water, like you swallow instinctively and it hurts so bad that they don't want to look at anything that's going to make them swallow. But so like you have these people who are afraid of water, who are acting kind of crazy, kind of delusional, and then the virus spreads essentially from your saliva. So I don't think it's super common for humans who have rabies to bite other people. But if it all it takes is one person who's like foaming at the mouth after being bit by a dog and you're like, wow, they're turning into a dog, werewolf. <laughs> So how, because I didn't know that you could treat rabies after you were bitten. How do you treat it? Is there a specific time that you have to get treated by? Yeah. So rabies is another, another thing that makes rabies cool. Uh, it travels from in your nervous system also from neuron to neuron. So essentially, however far the bite is that you get for rabies. So if you get bitten your finger here, the virus has to travel from your finger all the way up your arm to your brain. And once it's in your brain, you're pretty much screwed. There's, I don't think there's any treatment at that point. Um, and so if you get bit on the face though, it's a lot shorter trip to get to your brain. So depending upon how far away is how much time you have, which is why if you get bit by an animal that you suspect has rabies, you should go in instantly. Um, and what they do is they give you A, the vaccine for rabies, and then B, they give you a cocktail of antibodies against it. And essentially, since the virus takes a while to like tra- travel throughout your body, uh, that is enough that those antibodies are able to stop the virus from getting to your brain. So, so long as you treat it before it makes it to your central nervous system, your brain or spinal cord, it is very treatable, which is great. But if you don't catch it, it is very not treatable, which is not great. <laughs>